did you do other sports? Were you right away involved in sports as a kid? To be honest with you, I hated basketball growing up because I grew so fast, I was clumsy, you know, and you go out on the court and you start playing and you're kicking the ball out of bounds and you can't shoot and, and you know it's bad when you have an older brother and it comes time to pick the team and your brother's sitting there scratching his head and he's like, uh, Robert, I'm sorry, I want to win, I can't pick you. And he picks, you, <laughs> he picks somebody else for the last pick. So I used to go home and take, my, take a tennis ball and throw it on top of my grandmother's house and catch it because I love baseball. Baseball was my favorite sport. I pitched, played center field, and played first base. So I, I had a, a great love for baseball. Huh. But eventually, you know, the coordination kind of came into effect, and I was able to play basketball a little bit. Yeah, but I'm intrigued by that. Were you a good baseball player? I got more baseball trophies in my house than I do basketball. It was real funny because, you know, when people used to come to my house, it's like, where are the basketball trophies? I said, I don't have any. You know, I had all baseball trophies. I was pretty good. And I, I, I pitched. I used to throw about 85 miles per hour, which was really good. And then you couldn't. I wasn't a power hitter, but you couldn't get the ball past me. And then I just started growing so much. And then the strike zone kind of got long. And, and I just quit playing it because by that time is. Yeah, I was pretty good at basketball. And then you I mean, you went to the Sweet 16 twice, if I Correct. remember correctly. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that struck me was that you were also all academic yes. SEC. Yes. All, I, that I, must have been hard. <laughs> no, it was. You know what? It, was, it wasn't hard. You know, it's, I always tell people that, you know, for me, having a mother who was a teacher and a father that was in the military, you can't get more disciplined than those two. Yeah. You know, my mom was on me about my education. My dad was on me about doing the right things, which is part of, you know, doing your education. And then, you know, I was actually, you know, academic player of the year in the state of Alabama, too. And then I went on to college and it carry over. So that was one of the things that I was all, I was more scared of failing in college than anything because you, I was always scared of being one of those statistics where you didn't want to be, oh, he got to college, he did, but he didn't have the grades. He flunked out. And I was determined not to be one of those people. And, you know, I had Wimp Sanderson pushing me. I had myself pushing me. And I also had those two most important people, the, my heroes, my mom and my dad pushing me. Huh. With all the championships you won, there's that special, I would assume for you, very special was that second uh, Houston Rocket championship. Never yes. underestimate the heart of a champion. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Any thoughts about that particular team and that experience? So coming from the sixth, sixth seed, if sixth I remember correctly, yeah. to win that championship with Rudy T. And no one gave you guys a chance yeah. to repeat. You know, the thing about it, people don't understand, is we had a very important piece that was added to that team in Clyde Drexler. Clyde Drexler is one of the greatest players to play this game also. You know, he was added. He had never won a championship. And then if you go back, and I, I'm going to keep it short, but we beat Utah in Utah. We beat Phoenix in Phoenix. We beat Spurs in San Antonio. And then we played Orlando Magic, which we used to call America's team because it was Shaq, Penny, Nick Anderson, you know, D3. These guys on TV every freaking day. And we were never on TV. We were the defending champs. So it kind of made us mad. So it gave us fuel, right? So we swept them in the finals of win our, um, my second championship and back to back. And, and Rudy came out with a statement, never underestimate the heart of a champion. But people don't realize those four teams that we beat on the way to that championship were all 55 plus win teams. And nobody, and you got to realize we never had home court advantage. We always started out in their gym. And what we were able to accomplish in that season was just amazing. You know, we had a lot of controversy that year. We did a big trade and got Clyde. We lost Vernon Maxwell. You know, it was a lot of things that went on that year that, that lets you know that you always got to keep pushing. You always got to keep striving to be the best you can be, no matter what kind of adversity slaps you in the face. And the people out who are Chicago Bulls fans, I know this question comes up a lot. They always wonder those two championships we won in Houston, we would have won them with Michael Jordan would have been playing. The answer to that question is yes, because they couldn't stop Elijah. We might not be able to stop Jordan, but they couldn't stop Elijah. We did have a guy that could kind of slow Jordan down and Vernon Maxwell. So before that question ever pops up, yes, we'd have won two <laughs> championships if Jordan would have played. <laughs> Vernon was a pretty intense. Yeah, very intense. Intense yeah. guy. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.